Hello there. I welcome you all to this wonderful journey of quantum mechanics. Today, let us together understand the Heisenberg uncertainty principle. Before we directly jump into the topic, let me remind all of you about two topics which can be considered as prerequisites. The first point is the wave particle duality. Wave particle duality is the term for the fact that fundamental objects in the universe such as photons or electrons appear to exhibit aspects of either waves or particles depending on the experiment or situation. The second point which we need to remember is the de Broglie hypothesis. As per de Broglie hypothesis, every matter or particle has a wave associated to it which we call as matter wave and the wavelength corresponding to this wave is given by h by p h being the Planck's constant and p being the momentum of the particle with these two points in our mind let us now go to the next slide and try to understand look at the picture here we are talking about a single wave when we generally think about a wave this is the picture which flashes in front of our eyes for such a wave, as per de Broglie, we know that its wavelength would be given by h by p. Now, since this single wave has a unique wavelength, which means a single wavelength, this momentum is uniquely determined or the value of this momentum is totally certain. And when we know about its momentum at its 100% accurate level, do we know about its position? As per the concept of a wave, the wave can be present from minus infinity to plus infinity. So, the position of this wave with a certain momentum is totally uncertain. On the other hand, when we think about a particle, say this is the particle. We know about the position of this particle with totally certain value. That this particular particle is at this position so the position value is totally certain but now what about its wavelength at this moment do I know what is its wavelength or the momentum no so when the position is completely known the momentum is totally uncertain now let us think in a little different manner Look into this picture. Here I have taken three different waves. These three different waves have different wavelengths lambda 1, lambda 2 and lambda 3. Remember when the wavelengths are different their momentum is also different from each other. Now what we are doing we are adding these three waves or in terms of physical in physics language we are superposing these three waves. As a result, what are we getting? We are getting a resultant wave which looks like this. Now think again. When we are superposing three different waves with three, three different wavelengths or momenta, what we have done? We have increased the variation in momentum. And by increasing the variation in momentum or if I may say the uncertainty in momentum, what I have received? I have received a wave like this and this wave can easily be thought of as consisting of various wave packets. These particular position, these are called the wave packets. So as if when the momentum values have become little uncertain, the position has been localized. If you look into this picture, it is as if within this wave packet, the position is to certain extent certain, whereas in these positions, there is no position at all, which means the wave is completely absent in these places. So what we have actually received? By superposition of different wavelengths, that is momenta, we have localized the position. And wider the spread of this momentum, smaller is the localization, smaller is the uncertainty in X. 
This brings us to this recapitulation. A wave packet is a group of waves with slightly different wavelengths and frequencies interfering with one another in such a manner that the amplitude of the group, that is the envelope, is non-zero only in the neighborhood of the particle. Thus, we can say that a direct consequence of the wave particle duality is the appearance of uncertainties in the momentum and the position of the particle. If one of them becomes definite, the other becomes completely indefinite. And hence, the topic of this particular video comes up, the Heisenberg uncertainty principle. Heisenberg discovered that the product of the position and momentum uncertainties of a quantum object such as the wave packet is greater than or equal to Planck's constant h. Thus, according to Heisenberg's uncertainty principle, product of delta x and delta px is greater than or equal to h cut by 2. Now, you must be wondering that in the earlier slides, I was talking momentum, I was talking about momentum only as p and I was talking about the uncertainty only as delta p. But here in this equation or in equation, you can see that I have written delta x into delta px. Let me just clarify. When we talk about position, position is a vector. So, it has three different components, one along x, one along y and the other along the z-axis. Similarly, momentum is also a vector quantity. So, it also has three components, px, py and pz. Essentially, when I am writing the position as x, what am I assuming? I am assuming that the motion is occurring along x direction. And hence, the momentum which is associated to this particular movement is along x-axis and is px. So, when my position is along x, my momentum will be px. So, as per the Heisenberg uncertainty principle, uncertainty in x written as delta x and its product with the uncertainty in the momentum along x-axis delta px is greater than or equal to h cut by 2. Similar relationships hold for the y and z components of the positions with their respective momenta of the object. However, you should note that the Heisenberg uncertainty principle does not impose any restriction on the simultaneous and precise measurement of xy with pz or say y and px or y and pz. The restrictions are only on what are called as conjugate variables that is x with px, y with py and z with pz. Thus, we have two more such relations. Delta y, delta py is greater than or equal to h cut by 2. Delta z, delta pz greater than or equal to h cut by 2. So, let us just talk about the statement of Heisenberg uncertainty principle which says, the values of two canonically conjugate variables cannot be simultaneously measured with infinite accuracy for a microscopic particle. The product of uncertainties in the simultaneous measurement of conjugate variables always has a value above a certain minimum which is approximately equal to the Planck's constant. That's all about Heisenberg uncertainty principle for today. We will be talking more about this topic in the next video. See you all soon and do take care and let us beat and defeat the coronavirus together. Bye.